Yesterday, the microphones went a bit wobbly, but the producer is here. Yes, I've got my lamp hammer ready. That's all right, then. <laughs> so, are you listening? Uh, I'm not listening at the moment, but I will do in a you minute. You will be. I'm going to switch it on well, right now. Well, if you find the microphones are a little bit wobbly, <laughs> you'll alert us and we'll, we'll work out what to do. We'll get the WD-40 out. That'll, that'll <laughs> fix it. And Chris is here. Chris is coming very early. Normally, we've got about half an hour to sort out the studio before he <laughs> arrives. Yeah. But... Um, I had to check that you were keeping it in order. Well, yes, quite right, Chris. It's my name on the line. I believe you signed the contract. <laughs> um, sort of. Well, Chris, you've come in a bit early and we were going to have one of our um, design conversations, so yeah. you're welcome to join in. Yeah. Uh, you believe we're going to wreck the ceiling and wreck the floor. Yeah. You've got the wrong end of the stick completely. Okay. <laughs> that was um that was when Gibson Burrell was um trying to explain his thoughts about design and we needed a, a three dimensional diagram. So we didn't destroy anything, we just put notices everywhere and had bits of string to introduce the uh, dimensions of it all. So don't worry at all. The ceiling at half past ten will be exactly where it is. Good. And the floor will be where it is. Good. There's nothing to worry about. Good. But um, as you know, in this little half hour that we get, JD and myself, we have become the design science DJs. If you search on YouTube, we score very highly as design science DJs. In other words, nobody else is thinking about this at all. <laughs> Which, they might be right. <laughs> um, JT, do, do, you, you still don't think much of the idea, really. You don't think science is, is the right approach for being a no, DJ? No, no. So it still doesn't agree with my, my way of thinking, shall we say. Oh, well, now, thinking. Mm. That might be the way forward. Is it? Well, well you I'm have gonna, to think to go forward, don't you? You have to think to go forward. <laughs> I'm going to put this to you because... Um, my role is just to introduce things I've found about design science. Okay. Obviously, we are DJs. We, we know that much. So that's all right. We'll but give the floor back. <laughs> <laughs> you think the floor's gone? Yeah. No, we just needed it for um, natural or man-made as uh, one dimension of our design. Okay. What were the other ones? Rational and emotional. There's several dimensions, so if you're going to have three dimensions going at once, we've got, we've, we, we just need, I think we're going to make a special carpet with a notice on it. It will be a magical carpet. Oh, it will be a magical Please carpet. A magical yes. carpet. <laughs> it will say, do not touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, leave the, leave the notice where it is. Don't press the button. No. Anybody who's confused by this should search for Gibson Burrell on YouTube and um, buy the book eventually. Can I press this button? Yes, what button's can, that? Yeah, yeah, you can press that button, yes. Uh, oh, that makes the right. coffee. Anyway, um, Does it go? last week on Friday, John and I went to Like Minds. Did you? And there were two masterclasses which were sort of workshops, really about design thinking and that seems to be the latest incarnation of design science or at least design science might have contributed something to it some people seem to think so does design thinking sound any more likely JD design design, design thinking design thinking do, we ha do I have to design and think yes you need to do both things at once what, at the same time yes gosh that's complicated <laughs> That means I've got to have another brain to think about that. Well, no, you should do it with the same brain. <laughs> the same brain? Yes. <laughs> Both things at once. Well, I thought I was, uh, you know, in two minds about it. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> well, you can stay in two minds about it, and yeah. I'll try and make the case that there is somebody who knows about it. Mm -hmm. And then the, je the guests may join in at some mm -hmm. point. We are open to guests. So, although listeners Chris, may... Chris is our guest this morning. Well, Chris is our guest this morning. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> so, Chris, no, I'm, I'm going to. I'm, gonna say, I'm just going to put over the basic information what I've discovered from mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. um, the event. So I'm going to start with Sauce and Kuri, and I'll, I'll put links on on our Facebook page later on. And she talks about collaborative capacities. Gosh. <laughs> so she works with post-it notes, mm -hmm. lots of post-it notes, mm -hmm. and um, also uh, a sort of diagram. For example, making toast. <laughs> may, oh, right. may, maybe by the end of this show, we may have dr done some maybe drawings. A bit of time. <laughs> well, can you can Can you help uh, do with that again? <laughs> Well, we don't have to, we don't actually make the toast. We just sort of have a plan for making the toast. Plan <laughs> to make the toast. Okay. Right. And describe it. We do apologise for making this very funny, but it does sound funny in some. <laughs> well, but you're all right. putting here's, the basics to it. Well, That's here's another one. Like the the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Was um, not quite as good as people th thought it might be. Let yep. me put it like that. So one of the group tasks was to design how we would persuade the management at the castle mm -hmm. to invest in better Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. How we would persuade them. Um, did no, you manage it? I don't think we did, Chris. No, no, because we 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 got very confused as to who we were describing. We we thought if we described our own frustration that the management would take pity on us and rush into action and we gave up on that as a model and decided that we had to show them that um, there would be lots of tweets and Instagram images of the castle scattered across Exeter and Devon and the worldwide whatever wow. and uh, they would uh, they would benefit from this get lots more bookings but that was that wasn't in the scope of the original question so we were told that didn't really matter Design thinking is very good on rejecting the original brief <laughs> and starting again. <laughs> I see. So does, that make, does that make sense? Yes, De definitely. If you start something, it doesn't work. You go back to the beginning and start again. Yes. And so you would, you would just tell the client that um, they've got it all wrong. Yes. So Chris is thinking yeah. that by about half past ten, yes. you and I will have sorted out the studio. Mm. The microphones will be perfectly balanced. Yes. The CDs will be turned on. Yes. The broadband will be tested. Yes. And his show will go faultlessly then for about yes. an hour and a half. Yes. And I just want to report it. I can really interrupt you now. Really um, <laughs> That's true. It was expected that you would yeah. rudely interrupt it. Well, you're not, you're not going to knock on the door. And no. J, J, JD may disappear for about five minutes now to discover which, which of the codes you've forgotten getting into the various doors no, to get this far. None of them, no, that's true. So the show's going very well today, yeah. except that JD wants to change the, the scope. Does so he? He, I think he does. Did yes. he want a telescope? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps he wants a telescope. No. <laughs> a submarine. What's, what's going to happen in the next bit is Chris is going to do a show on his head. OK. Oh. So we get an upside down view of it. That's good. Then we've got the ceiling to, yes, to cover. Yes, so we can, we'll put a few, can sit on the ceiling. We'll put a few diagrams on the ceiling yes, as well. That's right. Oh, right. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that'll He's be all right. About that one. <laughs> but meanwhile, I just want to mention Rob Breeds, who is head of UX, which I think is user experience for LXL, which is in Plymouth. Uh -huh. So the, the good news is is that Source and Curry is, is in Exeter most of the time, and Rob Breeds is in Plymouth most of the time. So if we do get into this design thinking, Devon, Devon can, can cope. Can we? Well, I, th I would have thought so. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> fairly nearby get, knows about this sort okay, of thing. Okay, right. Don't get rid of the floor or the <laughs> ceiling. Chris, haven't I already explained this to you? You are very worried about it, aren't you? <laughs> I am from years ago. <laughs> yeah. No, that wasn't, that wasn't what we were trying to do at all. See, not, not how, can you, how can you have them? Um, I think we should have a three-dimensional diagram, which is like a series of rooms. Maybe yeah. 16 rooms in a cube with, with um, 
trapdoors and sort of ways in the ceiling to, to go up to an at what would appear to be an attic and all the all the dimensions in for three directions good luck with that and um, people can climb in and out as they <laughs> agree whether it's natural or unnatural or i can't remember all the dimensions now we'll have to get the book out again and we'll see if it helps us but roughly speaking, Chris, you think you know what, what your plan is for the next hour and a half, starting in about ten minutes? Yeah, I do. I know mine. <laughs> your plan My is plan, to get, yes. get to coffee as soon yeah, as you get, can. Get coffee. But you've got to stay here till 12 o'clock, J.D. Well, if, if Chris is doing his um, programme on his head, he should be fine. <laughs> he should be fine. <laughs> as soon as we've got him on oh, his... Oh, yeah, <laughs> you just said you were going to stick posters on the ceiling. Yeah. That's yeah. why you're on your head, Chris. Yeah. Well, that will make the posted no good because I'll be sitting on the <laughs> ceiling. So having posters up there as well, it would be a bit too close. Oh. Well, I'll think again about this. Okay. <laughs> but meanwhile, I'm just going to mention digital because um, the collaborative capacities was about design thinking in a digital age where everything happens a little bit quicker and Rob Breed's user experience was definitely about uh, web design so I think this design thinking is, is coming out of that as well having said that I think it's time for another tune yeah. and this one is um, Marvin Gaye Lucky Me